Here's an interesting problem recently posed to me by a friend. He wanted to create an embossed logo on a cylinder. This logo consists of a lot of thin line features. What you see here is just a simplified version of the actual design. He needed the design to be wrapped around the cylinder without any distortion. So this seems like a simple job for the embossed command. The challenge comes during sketching. In the extrude command, there is a thin extrude option, which allows for the extrusion of open sketch lines. However, the emboss command does not have the same option. It can only accept closed profiles. For a design like this, sketching full profiles can be tedious and difficult to dimension. When you need to make changes after the fact, it can be really challenging. Ideally, we want to find a way that combines the convenience of the thin extrude with the wrapping ability of the emboss command. The answer turned out to be quite simple. We can go ahead and sketch a logo with open sketch lines. With this sketch, we can perform a thin extrude by selecting the thin extrude option within the extrude command. With this thin extrude, we now have a face that represents the closed profile that we need. Unfortunately, the emboss command does not accept a face as a profile. So we will need to create a sketch and project this face. We can create a sketch on this face. Press P for project and select this face. Let's hide the thin extrude body. Begin the emboss command. Select the projector sketch profile and select the cylindrical face. Adjust the emboss parameters accordingly. For more videos on how to use the emboss command, do consider taking a look at these two videos.